All right, just a quick video today to talk about arrow functions and some tips and gotchas for dealing with them. Now, I've got a couple of variables up here at the top that I'm going to be using as return values from my functions. Um, RecVal, return val, which is just a number, and then obj, which is just a generic object. All right, first scenario I want to talk about is using one parameter being passed in. Now, I have here two different examples of the same code one with the parentheses and one without. Now, if you are only using one parameter, if you're passing one parameter into an arrow function, you can leave those round parentheses off, just like this. You can leave the curly braces off from either one of these. Now, both of these, let's say that I'm calling console.log, and inside here I'm going to run the function f1. Now I have to pass something in. This is going to be expecting a parameter to be passed in, so I'll just pass the number 7 in. And copy that, paste it down here. We'll call the function f1, we'll call the function f2. If I run this, I get the same result for both times. Now, by default, when you run an arrow function, if you just have a single line of code with no curly braces, it's going to return whatever you have here, even without putting the word return. But if I add curly braces around this, and I run it again, I end up with undefined. So if I put the curly braces in here, even though I've got it written on one line, I have to add the word return. Now if I run this again, there we go, I'm back to this working properly. So one parameter, you can omit the round parentheses. You can do one line of code to automatically return, or if you add the curly braces, which are optional, then you would need to put the keyword return inside there. Now, no parameters. So let's say I define another function here, and I'm setting it equal to an arrow function that will return retval. Okay, so if I do console.log of f3 being called, there we go, 42. I'm getting the value from here, this variable, is being passed back to me. So when I call this function f3, that's what I get back. If I add the curly braces again, I need to add the keyword return. But there's another way that I can write this. If I have no parameters whatsoever, if I've got one, I can leave off the parentheses. If I've got none, then what I would have to do is say const f4 equals underscore. Just like that. Now I can say console.log, call my new function. There we go. That's going to work for me as well. So we can use an underscore to represent no parameters being passed in to the function. So one keystroke instead of two. If you're into saving little tiny bits here and there, this is a way that you can do it. Now the third and final thing that I wanted to talk about was returning objects from arrow functions. So let's say I define a function here. I'm going to pass something in and it's going to return an object. Okay, this would run exactly as you'd expect it. I pass in a parameter, it gives me back this object right here. There's nothing different about this and any of these other ones. So, no difference here. However, if I am defining the object, so const, let's say f6 equals, and I'm passing in a parameter or leaving it blank, but I want to return an object. Now, if I take this exact object right here and I put it in, You'd think, I didn't put the keyword return here, I'm just putting one line of code. It's got an object to find inside of here. But if I try to run this, it crashes. It doesn't recognize this because it views the curly braces that I put here as the wrapper around the code. And inside here, I'm going to define my own return statement. So this one fails. Now, the final example, how do I get around that? How do I actually return an object if that's all that I want to do? Let's say I'm not passing anything in. That's not going to impact what I'm doing here, but 
if I wanted to return exactly this. If I want to return in a single line of code one object, what I can do is I can wrap this in curly braces, or sorry, in parentheses. Then console.log, if I call my function f7, this will actually give back to me the, oh, sorry, equals that. There we go. There we are. There is my object being returned, and the curly braces are now represented the object. The round parentheses are containing everything together so that it looks like it is an actual object. And I can do the multiple lines of code. I can break this up, but because of the one set of parentheses, it turns this into an expression that's evaluating it to be an object. The object is being returned from the function. It's all bound together, so I can break it up to make it more readable, but it's still going to be this considered a single line of com a single line of code, which is returning a single object from the arrow function. All right. Hope that helps you writing your arrow functions. Thanks for watching.